games. Our second company is Black Series. Dot com. sitting there about to get up and he said you know what you need to paint the table so i figured let's paint the table and there you go so i'm going to have one of these everything you see in here i'm going to have another version of it in the other place i told you i want to sit down and be to have a bowl of cereal and watch my cartoons off my table which i'm planning to do now we got that projector mapping technology oh heck yes technology in so many different ways so we have two versions of this one we have one that's a clear kind of a tinted clear and that one's used for high traffic areas like the table where you're going to be throwing something on top of it and all that stuff it's kind of designed for that and the one for the floor that definitely needs it because again you have people constantly walking on the floor and they don't want get chipped or killed or any of that at the end of the day so you don't have that problem two different coats of it. And as you can see, one coat application, that's it. And we're finished. I'll put the link below. It's also fantastic for those who are into those Dungeons and Dragons board games. You can actually change out your maps at will. in our demonstrations because again for a customer to have this set up he doesn't have to go out and spend all this money for expensive projectors that's why we don't use them in demonstration because again we like to use projectors that the customer can relate to so instead of them seeing a setup that's going to pay three or four thousand dollars for a machine just to do this that projector is under 200 bucks i paid 60 dollars for mine that's a seven dot seven hundred oh, sorry uh 3600 lumen uh, ultra short the projector, dual uh, HDMI jacks on the back of it, has a position bar which allows me to be able to move it where I need to go. That's one of the things I didn't like about the P2, sorry about that, but the P2 doesn't have position bars on it or lens shifting and that's something I desperately need on a projector. Once you go to lens shifting, you can't really go back to anything else. It's kind of hard to do it. Those have uh, positioning bars on them, so basically I can move it back and forth. 
Now, the reason why you can't do that on any other ultra short throw projector, because that projector has something called a tabletop mode, which means that, that when I set the projector in that position, it lays perfectly flat to the table. The problem is when you use other ultra short throws, you get a kind of a wedge there, kind of, it's kind of leaning up a little bit. It doesn't lay perfectly flat to the table. That's why I bought that projector. It also has another piece that it connects to. It allows you to turn the projector upside down and connect it under a glass table so you can project an image upward. It was designed to be used on tables. The stand, on the other hand, is a bit interesting to try to find. I found one on Amazon for around $100, but the projector's around $200. 200 or under $200. Let me get my, um, my sloths. you to paint it on any form of polyester tarp because it will fall right off. It doesn't work that well on polyester tarp. Now we finally get around to launching the outdoor version of this technology. That is also too going to have a two, not two coats, it's going to have a uh, two different formula application for what you're painting it on. We had we had the custom design something special for inflatable screens inflatable screens that pvc surface is extremely temperamental very hard to coat that's why you don't see a lot of people trying to coat those surfaces they are basically a bit of a headache so we figured out a way how to coat the surface turn it jet black and also to, for those of you who have that kind of a mesh inflatable screens with the front and rear we also have a coating to convert that into black technology that's made for the outdoor but just right now and show you all the different ways you can use the mapping applications. Like we did it for the floor, we did it for the ceiling, we go upstairs, we draw on the walls with it, and then you can do this stuff with it. Now, people are asking me about interactive whiteboards. Yeah, we got a coding for interactive whiteboards to turn that into a black interactive whiteboard. You have any idea how much a black interactive whiteboard costs? They are not cheap, they're insanely expensive. But with the technology we developed, you can convert that board into a black technology board, pick up 100% contrast, draws in tons of light, doesn't wash out, and you can draw on it and manipulate the board. That's what the Sony projector is, if I can find it. That Sony projector has software which allows you to write on the board. That's why I purchased it for studying how to basically uh, get a white board. And we did that in the last house when I, pur I purchased the projector in this house. Um, got that projector because that's interactive software allows you to write on the board and that's why I purchased it. So I'll give you an overhead look. Now I'm going to get me a camera that stands up like this. So I'm trying to get as much as I can done because my time is running out. And that means that it's almost time for me to go. I got business engagements waiting for me on the other side. And um, they're getting anxious. They're seeing more and more of this technology pop up on so many different ways. They can't wait to get started on it. But I want to make sure we have as much demonstration done as possible. Because like I said, when I make it one on the other side, we're not going to be doing too much of this right here. Everything is already done. That's why we're doing all these demonstrations. Everything will be done. Only thing I have to do now is just dress up in business suits, go to meetings, and basically uh, work the system. Get my technology out there, work with my crew. So. That's why 
why all these demonstrations are popping up. That reminds me too, I haven't been fitted for a suit in so long. What are my measurements on this? I gotta get upstairs, I gotta edit on the website. You got a lot of work to do. We just upload new videos, and I gotta put those on the site, and I gotta put summaries in the shopping carts and get ready. This technology is getting pushed back. Um, there's, a, there's a couple reasons why we're gonna push it back, but it's gonna be pushed back. It's supposed to come out in November. Good thing nobody put the pre-orders in yet, they to return your money, but it's gonna be pushed back for two more months. That's the reason why. I can't explain why, it's working perfectly fine. There's something else I wanna do to it. cool or what all right with that being said i hope you enjoyed the video demonstration thank you all for your time i have to go and god bless